There are very few answers but a myriad of questions surrounding this surveillance balloon that was spotted thousands of feet above ground over Montana. U.S. defense officials say it's well above the zone commercial air traffic would be using, meaning it's not a military or physical threat to those below. But in the same vein, the White House was advised against a call to shoot it down, fearful that when it lands it could pose a risk. Montana also houses scores of U.S. nuclear missiles underground, raising more concern. Now, as for the balloon, the White House refused questions on the matter on Friday, but the Pentagon says that it acted with a sense of urgency to protect the collection of any sensitive information. The U.S. government, to include NORAD, continues to track and monitor it closely. Now, China's foreign minister says the country has no intention of violating sovereign airspace, and on Friday it claimed it to be a meteorological vessel, but that has yet to be proven. It is believed to have entered North America via Alaska, with a U.S. meteorologist reverse engineering its path, showing that it entered Canadian airspace. China's ambassador to Canada was summoned over the matter, and the Department of National Defense says steps are being taken to ensure the security of Canada's airspace. It's not unheard of for China to be accused of spying on the U.S., but this discovery comes only days before America's top diplomat was to make this administration's first official visit to China, a trip that's now been canceled by the State Department. Reggie Chikini, Global News, Washington.